Hey everybody, it's Nico and I'm here with a new makeup tutorial, this time for how I do my diva cosplay makeup, and I'm very excited to bring that to you today. I'm starting off with uh, Bliss from the Lime Crime Venus, Venus, Venus 3 palette. Uh, this is just a good pink shade. You can use pretty much any like solid kind of bubblegummy pink shade. And I'm just packing that all over my eyelids and then also in the lower lash line. It's um, a good transitional shade for the rest of the makeup I'm going to be doing. And that's when I realized I had super fucked up because I hit pan on the little twin stars palette I have on my favorite shade, Sky Candy. Great. Loves it. But yeah, the, I'm using this for the inner corner and then blending it out mostly into my eye. This is just to lighten it up a little so that the crease is going to look a little darker. And then next I'm going in with, I think it's Paradise, but it's the purple shade in the same Venus 3 palette. And then, primer time! I'm using the Milk Makeup Hydro Primer. It's one of my favorite primers, it really does grip onto your skin. And the only thing is you have to wait for it to dry, which really sucks. Wait time, but at least I am able to do my brows as I wait for it to dry up. As for my brows, I like to use the, uh, what is this? The Lime Crime Bushy Brow stuff. I think it's Bushy Brow. I can't, I can't remember. But anyway, I just use this to set my brows so that they are like, I don't really do much to my eyebrows. I like to keep them as natural looking as possible, but I like to make sure that they're set in place for the day. And then I like to fill in the little sparser areas with the uh, bushy brow pen. All right, and while we're still waiting for our primer to dry, we're gonna start on our eyes. Doing cat eyeliner takes me like 50 years. It's like, I have to break it down into, okay, I'm gonna do one eye, move on to another part of uh, my face. I'm gonna do the next eye, move on to another part of my face it is just like it it's just something i have to like put away for a bit because i get so anxious doing my cat eyes Now I'm staring at myself in the mirror to see what I have to do next. And it's gonna be concealer. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, I think. But yeah, it's been like at least three weeks since I filmed this and I'm now just doing the voiceover because uh, it's way. But yeah, so it looks like I'm just going in like with foundation basically anyway uh this is pretty much what i'm doing before i have to actually draw the winged winged part of my eyeliner because that way i can take a break and here i'm just patting in all the makeup and checking to see if i need any more and i'm switching my brush I like to use a makeup brush versus a sponge just because I like the control I have over it. I didn't want to scare the cat away. I felt like I was inches away from a very lottery ticket worth two thousand dollars, and I wasn't going to take any chances. Here, yeah, puss puss, I said, making soothing clicking sounds. And this is when I was listening to a creepy pasta, and As it, closer, yeah, man to me and cried, yeah, it's um, it's it definitely a weird life. one.
and just patting it more into my skin just to make sure that it's set and it's fine. And now on to the worst part of it all, the wings. Oof. Did we get it in one go? Yes, bitch, yes. One go. And now on to another break where I am prepping my lips for uh, lipstick and another creepypasta intermission. Down. The moment I leave this alley, that monster is going to pounce on me and harvest my precious seed. He looked up at the imposing structure in front of me. Anyway, let's work on that other wing. The other eye is always the hardest one to do, like the first eye will be great and then like the second eye is just goodbye, the worst thing ever. I have to use like two different eyeliner pens just to get it to look nice. And just touching it up a little bit more. And bada bing, bada boom. It's uh, done, right? And next we're doing, uh, we're putting the NYX Jumbo Pen Milk in my under eyelid. No, that's my um, waterline. Yeah, my waterline. Just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Next um, mascara that I really need to replace because that shit's looking clumpy. Who are you trying to fool? And now I attempt to put on my false lashes just to show you how it would look like because I'm going to be honest with you, I lost track of my, uh, my duo glue and I normally wear this look with false lashes. So I wanted to show you guys how it looked with them, but I think I just peeled them off immediately after. And then next is blush. Uh, I did lipsticks. Lipstick was um, Cherub by Lime Crime, and now my blush is the Software Blush by Lime Crime. And I am a fiend for overblushing. You heard it here first, folks. And then more concealer. And then my eyelashes fly off. Sorry if you hear any screaming in the background. And then my diva cheeks. So I used a glossy lip color for this. Please don't follow in my footsteps. Please make the smart decision and use either body paint or at least matte lipstick because this shit will get in your fucking wig and you'll want to cry about it later. And I wish someone told me that before I decided to use this specific lip product. So it, I'm just drawing like two triangles, you know, diva whiskers. And it's a lot of like trial and error trying to get them to look decent, but uh, the way I see it is just make the tip parts look like how they should look like the cl parts closer to your nose because your wig's going to cover the back pieces and then the back pieces are going to get in your wig but it'll look nice on the front as you can see in like my video things and there we have it that's my um we putting on a wig so we're going from butch to ultra femme That simple. That simple. And now we're coming out on our wig. Look how cute we look. Bitch. Oh, that was ugly. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what you think about this video in the comments. Bye.